If you want to hit your target this month, you have to address your negative limiting beliefs. If you do not address them, you cannot push through and smash your numbers. So there's three things we need to cover here. One, look at your target. What are the negative self-beliefs you have or the limiting beliefs you have that are preventing you taking that? Write them down. Two, ask yourself, is it true? Are they true? Do you believe that? Because nine times out of 10, you're going to say, no, I don't actually believe that. You're just interrupting your thought pattern. Now, three, the best part, what is the absolute opposite? The positive belief, the 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 affirmation belief, the, the supporting belief, the sunny shining belief, right? So you go one, limiting belief, two, is it true? Three, what's the positive, the opposite belief of that? Now, that list of positive beliefs becomes your absolute brain hack cheat for your month. Like, meditate on it, listen to it, read it, day in, day out. I almost guarantee you'll smash your targets. Guarantee it. Now, today is a really, really, really practical and very, very good episode. Why do I say that? Because I say that about every episode. However, before I start, have you seen my four-liter Yeti? Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. And if you're listening to this, you're thinking, I can't see that, Brett. But if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this <clears throat> on socials or whatever, you're looking at this thing. It's ridiculous. I bought it because I thought I need four liters of water a day, and I don't know if I'm getting that, so I wanted to measure it. This thing, I, I haul it around with me, and it's ridiculous. But I wanted to bring it into the shot, and I'm going to tell you why, because when we cut these things up for TikTok and Instagram, whatever, I have been told that if you place an inanimate object, a very random object in the shot, you can... It can, it can do wonders for your, for your viewership. So I'm actually going to try it. So this is why I have it here. You guys will be on in that secret. Anyone scrolling who comes across us, I'm going to why the hell has he got a four-liter uh, drink there? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Check out the TikTok. When this one goes up, you'll see it. Let's have a little laugh. It will either go really well or really terribly, but let's, let's play a little game here. You're in on this, uh, on this joke with me. Now, this episode's about doing some di- deep digging in the brain. Put your hand up if you've got a target you're chasing this month. Everyone should. If you're a recruiter and you're sitting at your desk and it is whatever date in the month, you're chasing a target. You've got a number. Everyone has a number. It's either a weekly number, it's a monthly number, it's a quarterly number. It doesn't matter. For this exercise, I want you to write that number down right now. What is that number you are chasing? Is it $20,000? Is it $50,000? Is it $150,000? I don't know what your metric is. This is your very personal thing. I want you to write that down right now, okay? And something I don't do a lot of is go to the negative. I'm very optimistic. I'm very positive. I like to motivate. Sometimes you've got to do the deep dive and the dig to find out where the shit is so that we can, we can sort of fix it. So what I want you to do now, I want you to think about all of the limiting beliefs you have and all of the reasons why you're not going to hit that target. I want you to write them down. And this this will feel depressing. This will feel scary. This will feel a little bit shit. But trust me, come on the journey with me. I'll make you feel good by the end. So we're going to take our target. We're going to write down all of our limiting beliefs around that. Now, I've, I've got some things here, like, I did this with our, with our group. And you know, some of the things that came out were, you know, there's just, I just can't find candidates. Or I don't know if I, I'm going to hit that target I've set myself because I've never hit it before stuff like that they're limiting beliefs they're, they're reasons that they're little that's that little quiet voice in your head that tells you why you're not going to hit this thing it's that little voice in the head that you hear when stuff doesn't go your way it's that little voice in your head that little narrative you tell yourself it's that little defense mechanism that comes into play it's like oh, oh well I'm just so far behind there's only a week to go I'm not going to hit it we tell ourselves what we need to tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better right and their little defense mechanism. So we want to write them down. I want you to catch them. I want you to really just hit pause, and I want you to look at that figure. I want you to think of all of those little reasons why you're not going to hit that. They're called limiting beliefs, okay? So once you've done that, you might have one, you might have five. You might be like my friend John who says, I don't have limiting beliefs. My, like I've, He's got a number there. I, I get it. Um, and I said to him, well, maybe your limiting belief is thinking you have no limiting beliefs. <laughs> and I just said to him, dial the number up. Dial the target up for a moment, and when you get uncomfortable and those negative beliefs come in, there they are. They're there. They're just hidden because you're not pushing yourself this month. He was like, holy shit, you're totally right. 
So there are ways to find them. Um, and if you feel like, well, I've, I've, I'm on track, I'm only one placement away, my pipeline looks good, just keep digging. Like, w- what could happen? What's not going to happen? So why are we doing this? Why are we opening up this can of worms? Because it could be quite dangerous, right? What I want to try and do is to tap into those little little voices in your head, right, that are going to try and knock you off your path this month or this quarter. That's what they're trying to do. That's all they're trying to do is to, you know, you're getting closer and closer to your target those voices get louder and louder and louder. What we are now going to do, what I want you to do now, is I want you to read that first one out loud, like that negative, you know, limiting belief. I want to ask you, is it true? Is it true? Is that first one you pop down? There's no candidates in the market. Is that true? Of course it's not fucking true. There are candidates in the market. I just haven't found them. You know, um, what, what else might you have written down? Oh, you might you might have put an annual target down, like of a, a million bucks. Well, I've never I'm on track for a million, but I've never actually hit a million, so therefore I probably won't hit a million. Is that true? No. So what I want you to get in the habit of when you hear your negative self talk, when you hear that limiting belief come into your head, into your psyche, just ask yourself: Is this true? Is this thought true? Your brain tricks you all the time. So whenever you feel yourself in a negative self talk, be kind to yourself and ask. Is this true? Is it true? And if you're a manager and someone comes to you with their bullshit, and we know that bullshit that always rises to the top, I just can't do it so hard to do. Ask, is it true? Is that true? Do you believe it? Just like stopping the thought process and making them actually analyze the words coming out of of their mouth, actually analyzing the thoughts that are in your head, it's like, oh, actually, when I think about it, no, it's not true. I tell you 99% of the time, no, it's not true. Now, here's the fun bit, okay? Here's the fun bit. All of those negative beliefs that you've written down, all of them, are they true? Yes or no? It doesn't even matter what that answer is. What I want you to do right now is to write the exact opposite belief, okay? So if you've said there's no candidates in the market, I want you to say there are so many candidates in the market, I just need to find them. And Or, yeah, well, I, or if it's I've, I've never built a million bucks in a year, just go, I'm on my way <clears throat> to building my first million dollar year. You get the point. Let's now write out the opposite, positive, absolute like, you know, sunny shining belief um, compared to the one that you wrote before, which was your limiting belief. If you have to hit pause, go and do it. Why are we doing this? Because I'm telling you now, read through all of those positive beliefs that you've just written down. Read through them out loud and just feel how good you feel. These are now, the for- you're starting to form affirmations. I know I've heard all these things before, but I think my problem with affirmations is it's like it's hard to do that digging or whatever. I actually think this is quite a practical exercise. I did this with our team, and I think it was quite a – you could see the room go from, a, oh, yeah, like here it is, here it is, here it is. Here are all the reasons I'm not going to make it to. Holy shit, I've got like a cheat sheet of like hacking my brain. What you're going to do is read that list of positive beliefs. Scrap the negative ones. All those positive ones, you need to consume them morning, noon, and night. Read them. So I would print them out, all your positive beliefs, and they're the absolute opposite sort of um, beliefs around why you're going to hit your target this month, okay? It's actually as simple as that because we are we are energy beings. We feed off energy. And if we've tapped into now all these negative beliefs and we're gonna, they're going to come up all the time, we need to counter them with more positive beliefs, more. And, and, and what better than you know, anchoring them in things that you're already thinking, so we need to double down, triple down. So morning, when you wake up, read read your positive beliefs. Lunchtime, read your positive beliefs. And in evening, read your positive beliefs. If you want to go one step further, create a, an audio affirmation that that is a voice recording. Just read them all out loud and just listen to them. Just listen to them on repeat. It might sound hippy-dippy, but trust me, trust me. When you can tap into what you're already thinking and and consciously write the positive version of that, it's going to fuel you. It's going to energize you. You're going to get so excited to chase your figure. And I'm get, guessing you're going to get a hell of a lot closer, if not smash it, if you're if you're doing all the right mental work day in, day out. So I hope you got something out of this. Go to our TikTok page. Yes, we have TikTok. Let's go and see if this one uh, with the big old four litre bottle does any different. We're hovering around between 800 and 1,200 views per video per day, which is fantastic. We want to keep that going. Um, We bring you this content for free. 
We don't get paid. I don't have sponsors. We see that there's an avenue through uh, TikTok to get you know payment if you get a certain amount of followers, and, and I'm keen to do that. I said it. Yeah, we're here. We're here to we're here to make money, and it helps fuel more episodes, and that's that's the reality, right? Because it costs a lot of money to bring you all these episodes and all this amazing content. So, like, share, subscribe, go to TikTok, follow us, like it. Let's go. Let's make some noise. Have an amazing day, and may all your deals come true.